while the first 10 years of my career were experiments in what I call rejection and failure, the next 10 years were about designing some of the biggest brands in the world. So I did the identity for Burger King, and I did the identity for 7-Up, and for the Hershey bar, and for Twizzlers, and that's even my type, totally twisted. My handwriting is on Twizzlers, um, Haagen-Dazs, and Tropicana. So my show, Design Matters, was born on February 4th, 2005. Here's the original invoice that I had to pay them for the pleasure and the privilege of hosting this little radio show. So February 4th, 2005, I told you about the typography. Do not hold this against me. I did not do this. iTunes was really taking off. And I thought, well, I'll pretend like I'm an indie musician and I'll just start posting my shows on iTunes. And that's how the show, quite inadvertently, completely by accident, became the first ever design podcast. Design Matters named to top 100 podcast lists, but there were only like 110 podcasts. <laughs> and I started to record the show live in a little podcast studio that I had made at my graduate program at the School of Visual Arts. And I started the show in 2009 on Design Observer and began a whole new chapter of the show. How do you become who you are? And I'm still endlessly fascinated by that. People ask me, how did you know podcasting was gonna be so big? How were you so on the cutting edge? I'm like, I didn't know there was an edge. But my definition of confidence now is the successful repetition of any endeavor. The longing for something meaningful is bigger than the fear and the insecurity.